big one is that I am not uh, loved enough and that keeps coming up. Uh, the second one is uh, I'm bad. Um, I'm more like I'm a bad boy. I'm bad. Um, and the third one is I'm I'm an imposter. I'm inauthentic. So these are the core beliefs that keep coming up for me. Uh, before the MIL workshop, um, they kind of had me. I was feeling very broken and very uh, sort of divided. And uh, what uh, what's happened subsequently is that they do come up, uh, but uh, the impact or the effect is not as much. Um, you know, like share an example. Once I was conducting a different workshop, much after the MIL workshop, and there was a participant, a dentist uh, by the name of Bhushan, amazing, amazing guy. And I asked uh, in a break, where is Bhushan? And so these three girls, they stood up in unison and they called out Bhushan, very lovely, very nice. And immediately in this workshop, the first thought that occurred to me is, Usko pyar se they called him out lovingly, but they didn't call me, right? So, you know, <laughs> immediately the core belief came up. But what happens is that there also there is again this, ah, this is my core belief, right? And much like what is mentioned in the MIL workshop, that awareness is there more. Uh, that doesn't mean that my core beliefs don't grip me, they continue to trigger me, especially when there are two core beliefs. You are bad and you are not loved, if they come together, then, you know, people have had it. So, so yes, they do keep continuing uh, to trigger me, but there's much more awareness. And another way to say it is I'm much, much more, much more peace with myself. I do feel with I'm not loved enough. I have embraced that core belief quite a lot. For me, uh, core beliefs, shadow work, much what we learned in the workshop uh, has been is, is has been what I've been using. So my favorite uh, way to handle my core beliefs is, especially when I'm at night and these core beliefs are troubling me and I'm alone and I'm feeling this and you know I'm feeling very. Uh, sort of the core belief has completely uh, captured me and I felt like what's the point and all of that. At that time, I in the past, I used to come up with a solution. I will do this, I will do that. I have learned to now enter the core belief. I have now learned to um, go into the fire of my feelings. I have learned to stay with it. So. What I use is to bring up the whatever feelings I have associated with the core belief, whatever that they happen and what triggered. So just be in that feeling, be in those bad feelings and continue to be in it without solving it, without fixing it. Just be in it. Ah, okay, this is my core belief. My core belief is a lie. But right now these feelings are there. So just be with these feelings. And as I'm with my feelings, not fighting my core belief, not fighting uh, what I'm feeling, not wanting to wish it away. I have found that after about three, four minutes, maximum five minutes of just staying with my feeling, you know, the feeling goes away. And this was also something I learned even more in terms of why it happens, much more in the advanced course. And uh, yeah, so that's been working for me, entering into the feeling that my core belief is generating. That's, that's been very interesting.